Is Bitcoin forming a triple top? Will it be a bull trap above its triple top somewhere around 85K? Or will Bitcoin begin breaking the four year cycle for the first time ever by doing a bull run an entire year early with price tags? If that's the case, I bet it goes over a quarter million this year if we are in a bull market. But for my whole community here, I think most of us are aware of those three main ideas. Bitcoin might triple top, it might have a bull trap up to 85K above and then slam uh, back down to 40K or lower, 52 to 40K, or we might be in an early bull market. I'm going to throw at you a fourth option, which is pretty bullish in the short and midterm, but it leaves a big qu inconvenient question mark. And I want everybody, new viewers included, to be very prepared for this. So no further ado, let's dive in. Let's go get some Bitcoin. <music> The three main price paths that I feel Bitcoin will follow, I will go to a macro chart and I'll put it on the weekly. This is what I, so for new viewers, this is what I call my super macro mega chart. I use specifically, if you type in BTC USD, you use the index. So if you wanted to follow along, it's the index. And it goes back to when Bitcoin was under a dollar. And so the bottom line was only hit once when Bitcoin was two bucks. The current line that Bitcoin finally got over had only been touched once, really. When in the last time it touched it, Bitcoin was around seven dollars, and Bitcoin went below it, or he actually touched it for the first time ever, <laughs> going that low, and went below it and stayed under it even when the twenty-five uh, twenty-five k bounce, the thirty-two k bounce was under, and we just now broke above it. So that's what we're staring at here, a super macro mega chart. It's kind of a pretty chart as well, but it's going to be useful for covering the fourth option. So the third main, the three main uh, ideas that Bitcoin might follow is one top, double top, triple top, back down to 40, because this line would almost, I mean, very, very likely hold Bitcoin if that were to happen. And that's somewhere around 40K. Nope, that's, wait, sure. Hold on. It wouldn't go down much faster than last bear market. So let's make this angle. I thought I had it at 40K. Yeah, there we go. Around 38K. So it very likely would not go down much faster than last bear market. Last bear market was moderately aggressive. And so this bottom line here would likely hold it up if we did do a triple top. So even though we're technically above triple top with all time breakouts, but we're still in the zone. I mean, triple top, come on. So down to, you know, 35 to 40K land, if it's triple top, option number one, it's still on the table. Option number two is a triple top with a bull trap on top because BlackRock is the biggest mover or biggest money player in Bitcoin as of now. Uh, and so it's a new player that is has the biggest wallet right now, not the biggest Bitcoin wallet necessarily, but they have the biggest cash wallet to move Bitcoin around. So I feel very strongly that this, this might be my favorite option if I had to guess. I think uh, we might get folks bullish on an all-time high breakout so people go long so BlackRock can start accumulating potential shorts in this idea. Uh, because you need one long for every $1 of shorts. So you need $1 of longs to get a dollar short. So if BlackRock wants to make money by making a range, which is very, very profitable playing a range, especially one that you could massage very heavily <laughs> with all the, you know, with all the money that you have in it, being essentially the biggest player in Bitcoin and biggest new player, but biggest player in general as of now, is you could really stack on, like let's say they want $500 million of longs, for example, but in order to stack that much, you have to convince enough people 500 million deep to go long. So a blue sky breakout is a very bullish thing. That's a great way to get people bullish and going long. And the higher you go, the more and more longs that stack up and the more you can st uh, meet your goal of $500 million in shorts. That would potentially take Bitcoin up to about 85K would be my guess, maybe in the mid 70s, but somewhere around 85K before it then slammed down after they get all their uh, shorts on. So, and I, I am telling you, new viewers, what I'm about to say is not an incorrect statement. It's either mostly correct or completely correct on the, you know, if you if you fact check that in the way far future, or if somebody at BlackRock could chime in. 
uh, is BlackRock would make more money from a range. I promise you they will than Bitcoin going straight up to a quarter million if it's an early bull market. Big players who can massage price make more money from ranges than they do from retail happiness. That is not an incorrect statement. Therefore, for that very reason, it's kind of my favorite option. However, it could come in many forms. Bitcoin go to 85K, then just do a nice, sexy, higher low around 52K, right? And not go all the way down to 40, but still it'd be the same situation. That's situation number two and the reasons why I don't feel it's necessarily the most probable because Bitcoin is doing very unexpected things, breaking four-year cycles, potentially all that stuff, early bull market potential. I wouldn't necessarily make, make, label it by far the most probable, but rather e even probabilities here. I mean, it's not unlikely to happen. The third is early bull market. And here is why I feel a quarter million dollars would be my mid-range target. Wouldn't be my low-end target, but it would be my mid-range target is because I just showed you this macro, super mega macro channel, right? Well, this blue line is the middle. That's where it used to stop going down and then started going up and just riding this bad boy, right? So the idea that it's the first time, first bear market that ever lived completely under that blue line, it's going to go touch it in a bull market, like with an exceptionally high probability. What was future, uh, past support becomes future resistance, but you have to go touch it to become resistance. And so if it happens this calendar year, and it's an early 2024 bull market, and there is no 2025 bull market, for example, for example only, then let's mark off as this, yeah, that's the new year. So this white line is January 1st, 2025. So if it happened to peak exactly, exactly on December 31st, for example, that's over a quarter million. If it were doing it somewhere in November, you're also close to a quarter, just under a quarter million. So the bottom, the, and that is the bottom of the middle. <laughs> it could hit the top of the point of control, the top of this blue, and that's closer to 300K. So, and I can't, I can't stress this enough. If we are in an early bull market, I think Bitcoin's gonna surprise to the upside. And I think Bitcoin dominance would do very well. Uh, I think all, a lot of altcoins were gonna do well too, just kind of like a normal bull market, but I don't think we're gonna be stopping at 160, 180, which are some common targets based off, off some FIB levels that you're hearing. I think it pretty much, quote unquote, has to. Like if it is a bull market, and that is the option that happens, it, I think it has to touch this blue zone in a bull market because it was the baseline. That's where all the bear markets stopped. So it's going to go touch it. Previous support becomes future resistance. If we're in a, uh, so it's very high, tar high targets, but that is my justification. So for new viewers, I'm not just out here like saying a quarter million because I say so, you know, let's pound our chest and every day we're coming here saying a quarter million. No, if things start turning around and Bitcoin goes below so this is the baseline, quarter line, half court, three three quarter line, and top of the channel. If it goes back below the quarter channel, then my tune will change. I don't think it's going to go touch this quite yet. I think it'll be a 2025 bull run, uh, respecting the four-year cycle, because option one or two happened, right? Either triple top or bull trap above a triple top for the reasons that uh, that uh, BlackRock would make more money from that than going straight up. They'd make way more money. Okay. The fourth option is a big O question mark, okay? All right, so I have to use my midterm time frame chart for this one. So I have a short, a micro chart that I use to do really, really small price action as in today, tomorrow, what's next week. This is a 15 month long channel from the 15 five lows. So I use this for my short-term time frame to guess what is going to happen in the next week or month super long term and now i have a midterm channel not all on the index i have it on different bitcoin charts one's on bitstamp one's on the index so on and so forth so if you don't have three different time frame charts for bitcoin uh then you might want to consider it because it's actually pretty darn helpful particularly for new viewers all right So Bitcoin has already these are my origin lines. I'm gonna go to the weekly time frame. Zoom out a little bit. Sorry, I'm not trying to 
stimulate anybody's epilepsy by moving this so much. Actually, that, yeah, I don't need that line. And so this is essentially representative. This middle is the point of control, just like on the other chart. It's almost the same thing. And Bitcoin, as you can see, did not play. Let me, so Bitcoin was in this zone during the whole bear market. Dang it, if I could draw this. Was in this the whole bear market. And look, it was never before in here. See this channel? All right, so that's for context. Now, because Bitcoin has already interacted with this line right here, it's already gotten rejected, come up shy. I don't think it would stop here. I think it has a chance to go to the next one up and then question mark. And where is that next one up? It's just over 100K, which would be a psychological number of 100K. And it should be close to a two trillion market cap overtaking the market capitalization of silver in that run. And it's so it's a double psychological number. It's a psychological round 100 ish K for price and it's a psychological number roughly two trillion for market cap. Hopefully my math is correct. If it's not, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, your math is wrong. <laughs> it should be pretty close to that. So double psychological number up here. I think it could turn around there. But the question is, that is too low for a bull market. It's too high for a bull trap. So what what is going on there? Like, are, are we committed to a 2024 bull run? Right. Or if we can't get above there, like, is it just going to be a bear market afterward? That's going to be a double length bear market because we had a earlier bull market or question mark. Are we going to start ranging for five to 10 years like gold? So gold just ranged. It's finally broken out, confirmed, broken out above its uh, above its uh, 10, 12 year uh, high of 2000. Finally. But it took it took over a decade. And, bit, and that was only after one big run of gold from the 70s all the way up to 2008 when it topped out. That was a single run. Bitcoin has had three runs up from under a penny to $1,100 down to about $186, do over 100x up to 20K, drop 87-ish percent throughout 2018, 2019, down to 3,200 up to 64 69k right so that's kind of the price path of bitcoin here and what if bitcoin so that's three runs bitcoin went or uh coinbase almost said coinbase gold went sideways for a decade after one massive run bitcoin's had three massive runs in a row in four-year cycles so if bitcoin taps its head on this origin line can't actually force itself into a fully sustained bull market, but it's not a bull trap either. I, it's a question mark. Is it going to start forming a gold sideways crap where it might base out above 50 and play between 50 and hundred for 10 years. And therefore altcoin seasons are always canceled. If that happened, there is no more altcoin season in that situation. There could be one offs or two offs like a Caspa goes and then another one, layer one goes and then some new type of coin goes, but it's not all altcoins at once in that 10 year sideways. It would just essentially be like gold to NASDAQ right? type of deal. Like you'll still have stocks that go up if uh, your main stocks aren't going up like NVIDIA. If NVIDIA falls, you'll still have your one offs that go up, right? So that is my least favorite option because it could ruin all of the most of the fun in crypto is green, beautiful candles, like everything going up at once. Uh, it could really make things a lot challenging and uh, change the landscape. But I putting a question mark there because it might stop, make it pull, do like a 60 percent pullback, which is still a higher low and then do a 2025 essentially double bull run. That is possible. I bet that would be like a 70% pullback. If it went from here, one, two, drop down three origin lines, nailed a monthly higher low on that line. Watch, boom, boom. I bet that's around 70%. Please don't be too far off. I'm usually good at eyeballing this. My Discord members know that. Oh, I was pretty far off. It's only about 52, <laughs> 50%. It's not quite 70, but a 50% drop down to a very aggressive higher low and then perhaps 
sideways and then a 2025 bull market. That is possible too. Sounds a lot sexier than going sideways for 10 years. But this option right here is a big question mark for me. This is the one I don't want to happen. This is my fourth main price path that I have in mind macro-wise that I want new viewers and everybody within the community to, uh, to consider as an option. But also, if you are completely, so particularly for new viewers, because folks, um, I am recording this at the beginning of a private live stream. So I do the Bitcoin version, try to make that public for everybody. And uh, so what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to end this and go uh, answer specific questions that folks have about their altcoins, whether it be a big altcoin like Ethereum or a small cap like uh, uh, like Trias or Bpro or something to that effect. Maybe you've never heard of those small altcoins. And we're going to be talking about where to raise stops to keep yourself protected and all that stuff. But before I go, I wanted to let you know that if you are completely sold that this is an early bull market, early bull market, and you, that's the YouTubers that you follow and you just happen to land on this video and you've never heard anybody say, oh, there are three main options or four main options. Please don't blow this off. This a triple top is still in play. This bad boy can slam down to 38K in your face. It could easily happen because four-year cycles have been respected this whole time. And it's still not broken. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it's almost broken. And we're about in a bull market and it looks like a bull market, but it's not yet. We're still in the triple top territory. It could slam in your face. So if you are overcommitted, like you are in deep, deeper than, you know, you have more in crypto than what you're willing to lose. And you are convinced as a bull market because the people you follow are telling you that. Triple top slamming in your face is an option. Protect yourself. And that's what I'm getting ready to segue into with my community because a lot of the altcoins that they're holding are in profit. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to take questions to show them, hey, if I were in that boat holding this asset and I were this much in profit, you know, they'll give me their entries, hopefully, <laughs> on the live chat. But uh, I want to help them uh, get into a risk-free situation particularly in coins that they've been in and are more than 20% profit to help them uh, take a, essentially a zero risk. And if anything slams down, they would still be in profit and be able to take that flat position after, after getting stopped out in profit and then being able to buy back lower to protect oneself and capitalize uh, accruing crypto with other people's money because you sold in profit and bought back lower. That's what we're getting ready to now. So if that sounds like something you would uh, like to do, there is a blue join button down below uh, for the YouTube recording, not for the live stream. Uh, if you want to check that out, a 90 second video pops up, shows you what the YouTube tiers are all about and the uh, Discord uh, links and uh, are in the description. So you can check that out to see what it's all about. Other than that, you just got Timified Worldwide. Peace.